Maximilian, we are in Tenuta San Leonardo, the family residency and winery of Marquis Guerrieri, Gonzaga. Interesting. I begin to understand your philosophy. In a bottle there is a lot of history and territory. Let's go and discover the San Leonardo winery. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to San Leonardo. Thank you. Let me introduce to you Maximilian, our guest. Hello, Maximilian. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. So, May I introduce you to my father, Carlo? Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Marquis. And our director, Luigi Tinelli, who was uh, born here and uh, is the real uh, soul of San Leonardo. <laughs> so what about your history? You know, Francesca, we are in an ancient place because this was a monastery 1,000 years ago. It all started with a small church and then a community of monks started living here and they built this monastery. And our family uh, started working here in the 1600s for the church managing the land and then we fell in love with this place and we tried for many decades to buy it but it was impossible because the church would not sell it and then finally in the 1700s we finally bought it off from yeah, there. Yeah, lucky guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is a, a woman that has a key role in your history. Yes, it's a, it's a very special woman. It was the grandmother of my father and my great-grandmother Gemma de Gresti. During World War I, many of the people living around in this area were taken in hostage and uh, when sent to Russia in the concentration camps. And my great-grandmother, who was half Russian, started a, an enormous work. And by the end of World War I, it took her many years, uh, she brought back nearly 12,000 prisoners from... Uh, 12,000 prisoners? Yes, 12,000. An incredible number. And in fact, she's been awarded a golden medal from the International Red Cross for Humanitarian Aid. She was really a, a very special woman. Who is has to visit uh, your state? Uh, yes, yeah. uh, I think that the best thing, we go and see the vines. Ah, uh, we take the people. Jeep and we have a nice tour around and then we go to see where we make the wine and then we drink it. Yeah, sure, uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's take the Jeep. Yeah. Pergolone is the name of this vine, and uh, this vine is the oldest one we have in the state. And oh. It's about uh, 75 years old. It's so romantic. Could we have a walk through this? Yes, uh... of <laughs> Tenuta San Leonardo is really an amazing place. It's not a wine yard, it's a garden. We are in the Museum of San Leonardo, of the old tools that we were using in the past time, and uh, the estate was completely out of sufficient. So here we are in our vegetable garden, which uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Uh, very, uh, it's the center where everybody comes and takes the vegetables for their home. Yeah. And actually, we have a collection of spices, which is very interesting from all around Italy that my father collected in the years. It's a dream for a master chef like you. It's really a lot of uh, material to work. <laughs> <laughs> Reaching the heart of the production of our wine, we are actually here in the archive of all the ancient bottles of the estate. And uh, my father is holding the wine he created in 1982, the first San Leonardo, which is not the oldest wine produced here, but it's definitely the most famous one. And uh, it is made of 60% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% Cagmenet, this uh, very particular grape that grows here since uh, more than 100 years, and 10% uh, Merlot. It's a very special wine that was produced with a fantastic vintage in 1982. 
and now from here we go to the cellar, but you must discover how to get into that. Finally, we taste something. Huh? <laughs> so we start with our Vette di San Leonardo, our uh, Sauvignon Blanc. This is a pure Sauvignon Blanc 100%, very floral. And uh, you know what Vette means in Italian? Uh, Vette is a uh, of Deutsch. Uh, the peak of the, the mountain. The peak, the peak of, of the mountain. Exactly, the peak of the mountain. After the minerality of this wine, I think it's good to pair with many kind of food. Good for aperitif, starting from aperitif. <laughs> Till late Till, night uh, on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's the turn of our second wine of the estate. It's the young brother of the San Leonardo. And it is called Terre di San Leonardo. This is a blend of 50% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 40% Merlot, and 10% Carmenere. As I told you before, you know, it's our secret ingredient here in San Leonardo. Now we have the San Leonardo, it's coming, and uh, it's a vintage 99. Uh, wow, a very special vintage on San Leonardo. Yes, wow. it was, uh, it's one of, uh, I would say today, probably the best vintage we have in the cellar. Really? Yes. What's a honor for us? Uh, <laughs> Patricia, we have to open something special for you today. Thank you, so much. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Spicy, healthy, uh, a, a world of flower in this wine is incredible for me. In my opinion, Maximilian, what do you think? Smooth, elegant, 18 years old, but still, still young. Yeah. Anselmo, Marquis Carlo, we enjoy so much to stay here with you, but now we have to leave. Really? We have, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> Maximilian, but now you have to prove uh, that you are a master chef. We have to go to cooking. Okay, let's go. But before, <laughs> Anselmo have to give us uh, the bottle of wine that we have to pour with uh, food. Francesca, so this is the wine we chose to give you. Okay. We have our chef Carmelo, okay. but we have the sous chef Marcello. Hi, Marcello, nice to meet you. I'm nice Francesca. Max. Nice to meet you. We have here two bottles of wine one is San Leonardo 2011, and one is Conte Federico Riserva 2012. Perfect. Now we are going uh, to taste them. con i finferli e la fonduta di zafferano. Ok. With Conte Federico? Con il Conte Federico abbiniamo dei bocconcini di formaggio con un'insalata di mele e della zucca marinata. Could we help you cook? Yes, go. Ok.
you have not to use puna with tagliolini is uh, not the way that he, Italians uh, eat uh, this kind of pasta. Max, uh, you are not uh, a master chef. So Massimiliano, did you enjoy this experience? Uh? Yes, amazing place and uh, the pairing of San Leonardo with tagliolini worked very really well. Yes, I agree. And the, the fried cheese uh, with uh, Conte Federico, the same. Uh, fried is perfect with bubbles and the acidity of the apple fits perfect. Maximilian, we spent a beautiful moment in Trentino with two great uh, wine family. I hope you enjoy it. I like it very much because I didn't know this part of Italy. Uh, the land is beautiful and also uh, wine and food are amazing. I thank you for that and I wait you to come to my home and I will cook something for you and your friends. Thank you, um, but I need my passport. Don't worry, I give back your passport. But before, I have to stamp it with one passport stamp. Thank you. Thank you, Maximilian, and see you soon.